Hollywood is a very interesting place um, from pretty much every angle you look at it. So let's talk about the sixth most powerful person in Hollywood. So you guys probably have heard his name multiple times if you're on this channel or if you even frequent comic book websites because Kevin Feige was officially named the sixth most powerful person in Hollywood. Now, this is one of those things where we recently found out he's going to be given an award. Um, he's kind of the man that's responsible for the modern like age of movies. Uh, certainly his idea which he was floating around in early 2000s and Sony and Fox and Lionsgate all turned it down until he was like, you know what? I'm gonna take nobody characters that are like B and C level in the comics and I'm gonna make them valuable household names within a decade. And he funded that money out of an independent studio and then Disney bought them and he was given reins to do as much as he wants with unlimited money. And recently, of course, with hits like Black Panther Infinity War, and even going into Hollywood and striking the unprecedented deal between Sony and Disney cements him higher up on a list than chairman of entire companies, like Warner Brothers, for example, or Universal even. And this kind of just, I guess, suggests and shows you the power that he has in Hollywood now, right? Like, he single-handedly was able to revolutionize and save comic book movies and push them in a new direction that people if you would have told them 12 years ago that this is what was going to happen would have laughed at you because that just wasn't feasible you know and he was able to take obscure characters like ant-man and guardians of the galaxy and make them more profitable than the likes of superman batman wonder woman aquaman and even top Marvel characters like Iron Man and Captain America. So, you know, there's a lot to be said about what he's done for Hollywood. And certainly his influence, you know, through 22 movies and numerous TV shows and spinoffs has kind of grounded him as this visionary that started off working within Fox. And nobody would listen to him until he started just moving up as an executive and, you know, raised money to start his own thing. And honestly, it's kind of well-deserved, and you only got to wonder, if he stays around for another decade or so, how much more powerful is Marvel going to get with his leadership? It's kind of going to be an interesting time to uh, sit back and look at it.